Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT server tutorial. In today's video, you'll learn how to set up an SFTP reverse proxy. Jscape MFT server has a reverse proxy feature that allows you to map it to a user's or group's virtual path. This can come in handy when you want to transparently provide users access to one or more remote services through a single account. Jscape MFT server's reverse proxy supports several file transfer protocols, but today we'll just focus on configuring an SFTP reverse proxy. Let me explain what we're trying to achieve. Let's say you have two servers. One server is in your DMZ and the other one is in your LAN. One of the folders on your DMZ server is mapped to a SFTP reverse proxy that points to a folder on your LAN server. So when a user logs in to your DMZ server, perhaps through FTP, FTPS, SFTP, or some other file transfer protocol, that user will see that mapped folder and be able to upload files to it. Those files that he uploads to that map folder won't be stored on the DMZ server. Instead, they'll be forwarded to the LAN server. Note that the user doesn't have to log in directly to the LAN server. All the user has to do is log into the DMZ server and he'll instantly have access to the LAN server's SFTP service. In effect, this reverse proxy will allow your users to access both the services on the DMZ server and one or more remote services by just using a single account. Let's now go through the steps of setting up that SFTP reverse proxy. Log in to the server manager of your DMZ-based MFT server. Navigate into your desired domain and go to reverse proxies. Click the add button to add a new reverse proxy. Select SFTP slash SCP for the protocol and click OK. You'll then be asked to specify the SFTP reverse proxy settings. Give the proxy a name, for example, LAN server. Enter the host name or IP address of the LAN server. Select the Enter Credentials option button. If you're using password authentication instead of public key authentication, enter the remote account's username and its corresponding password in their respective fields. Now click the Test Server button to test the connection. If all goes well, you should now have successfully configured your SFTP reverse proxy.